Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali. And before starting the video, I have you have uh, heard at least the name of machine learning and image processing. So first of all, in this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, what is the OpenCV. I mean the OpenCV library, and how we can use the OpenCV library to develop the machine learning applications and the image processing applications so let me tell you first of all i mean opencv is a library of programming functions mainly aimed at real time computer vision now opencv we stand for open source computer vision is a library for computer vision and comes up with a machine learning library for decision trees boosting support vector mechanics support vector machines expectation maximization and neural networks i hope you have heard about the neural networks also also we can uh, use opencv library for developing image processing applications let me show you some applications so then you will get the whole idea so now i'm going to show you guys the image processing app then you will get the whole idea so in front of you guys i have opened uh, an application in my mobile phone and i'm going to uh, select any image from my gallery okay then you will get the whole idea so here you can see uh, there is an image okay we have this uh, hulk and there is another person who is sitting here okay it's just a random meme so basically what uh, image processing is in front of you guys this is an image processing app in which you select an image and you can remove any unwanted object from the image so in front of you guys i am going to uh, select i mean share this person select this okay so just select this brush okay and i am going to uh, select this whole area because i want to remove this unwanted object from my image okay so i just select all these and then i will click on this process and now you can see the magic here you can see it. it is just like I mean that is there is no object in the image okay here you can see it it is removed successfully I mean this is a magic so basically these kind of things are the image processing and we can do it I mean we can develop application using the OpenCV library just like this okay for the image processing application basically I mean okay and uh, also you can remove uh, text and any object you want to remove from the uh, from the image uh, from the original image let's say I'm going to select this one okay this area and this person So these kind of applications we can develop using the OpenCV library, which is open source. Here you can see it, the magic. So I hope uh, you understand the whole idea of the OpenCV library and the application which we can develop using the OpenCV library. Also, if I show you further examples, then using the OpenCV, you can create applications in which you can deduct objects in an image that is a car, a person, and just like that. Okay. Also, you can deduct the speed of the car. Let's say you have developed an application for driving. You are sitting in your own car uh, and you are traveling somewhere from California to Los Angeles, and you just uh, put your uh, phone in front of you, and inside that phone, you can uh, check, I mean, uh, uh, the car which is moving uh, next to you okay the speed of that car you can deduct it okay also you can uh, develop the security applications I mean that is uh, what objects the user have in their pocket I mean you, uh, the blank uh, the blanket you can say or the cord the overcoat which a user wear weird okay so you can even check that objects that is i mean security application you can also develop using the opencv library you can also develop the fast deduction apps like uh, that is the you can get the person uh, uh, you can say is the person is feeling happy or sad or and also you have heard about the applications like to play music according to the user emotions okay so all these applications we can develop using the opencv library okay so opencv is basically a library which is used to develop image processing applications and the machine learning applications okay 
so yeah that's it for this video so in the next video we will download and install and configure the OpenCV library to our android studio so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now